just putting our uh, final touches on a wide load. We've got cinder blocks, we've got pipes, about 9,000 pounds hooked up to the Super Duty, improperly loaded. So Mike, the intent of this exercise is to show a new feature we offer called trailer sway control. The most important thing a customer can do when trailering is to load the trailer up properly. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've loaded the trailer improperly to induce sway at 40 miles per hour. The trailer sway control will kick in and then help compensate for the trailer that's moving in a way that you didn't intend it to move. Is it standard in the competition? Nope. Competition doesn't have it. We're going to hook up this trailer to the Dodge, to the Chevy, and to the Super Duty. We've got cameras all over the place, and we'll be watching it from somewhere down there. Someplace safe at a distance. Results speak pretty well for themselves. Sum it up for me. When we tested the Chevy yesterday and the Dodge today, they both began to wag their tail significantly where you know they couldn't stay in their lane. The beauty of our trailer sway control feature is the brakes start to think for you by using the truck electronics in conjunction with the trailer electronics to work in concert to bring the trailer back under control. Fortunately for the Dodge, they didn't yield the same results. Dodge and Chevy seem to use a little more of the road. I think the big point, you've, you've referred to this time and again as a, as a safety feature. It's not just the safety of the driver or the people in the truck that we're testing. It's anybody out on this road. That's right. The technology is a huge safety enhancement for what our customers expect from us. 